Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another episode of the Doom p playthrough. Last time around, we checked out, um, a bunch of stuff that was part of, what you would call it, the EPA number best series, and we finally finished up basically all the levels kind of connected all in Punch and Barons. So yeah, we're finally actually going to be looking at some new content again, kind of like what we were before it. Um, except for the fact that, Mara, that this time around, it's not exactly too, too new. It's yet another older version of a level we've kind of seen. In fact, this time around, we're checking out a level called Tian Cross. Now, you might recognize the name somewhat because we have played Tian Cross 10 which was a modification, a, a improvement on this watch, should I say, that was like one of the earliest P wads we played. In fact, it's very, very early in the cycle. Um, it, it's extremely early in April. So yeah, it's it, it's quite early historically. And the interesting thing was there was a P wad that was released even before that, historically speaking. Um. On March 27th of 1994, that that's when this one was released. <laughs> so yeah, this one actually goes all the way back to March, um, very very end. Actually, actually, it's interesting to note because the date I'm playing this on is March 27th of 2017. So so hooray! It's the anniversary of the speed one. <laughs> wow. Okay then. That 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 is coincidental. What do you know? <laughs> um, we're, we're celebrating the anniversary of this P1, apparently, people. This this is this is groundbreaking news. <laughs> yes, the 23rd year anniversary, Be because that that's totally a anniversary to celebrate really heavily. Yeah, we we gotta honor this one for its 23rd anniversary. <laughs> okay, TN Cross, a deathmatch arena for Doom by Valus. To help me learn the great new DU 5.0 Beta 4 Wad Editor, um, as you can notice, this is definitely old when it's talking about the Beta 4. Um, that that's definitely interesting because m most PWADs around the time, you know, like I said, you know, you get to like April even, you're talking DU 5.0. This was the Beta 4, which we've only seen a couple of use because we've only seen a couple of May. <laughs> um... So, yeah, interesting indeed. <laughs> um, to help me learn the great DU 5.0 Beta 4 Water there. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, I created an enclosed level. Starting with Alistair Brown's simple across that water to juice you up a bit. Wait, so he took another person's wad. It's even older than this, apparently. Which we, we might have to hunt down. I thought we played Cross. I thought that was in May. A actually, what didn't they say there was another level called Cross? Yeah, this might be where this comes from, people. We might have just found another little historical thing to check out. We have found another breadcrumb! <laughs> this is kind of how we're going to be doing it one night. It's finding breadcrumbs and hopefully eating bread and becoming ducks. Everyone is offset. Nobody can see the enemy's entry point. The heat is on, so you better get started. Ramble through a maze of variably high barrier walls to find a little more ammo for each weapon. Chainsaw doesn't... Uh, um, honestly, these are like different bullet points, and it's it's very weird broken sentences. To find a little more ammo for each weapon. Uh, the, uh, okay, yeah, I guess he's trying to continue for the last one, but that doesn't even make sense. Chainsaw doesn't need ammo, but there's something hidden for you, too. A few choice monsters to keep folks company, not a major zoo. Wait, wait, okay. Critters and bonuses scale back on easy play levels. Collect and search well, and you'll go far. All the way to the top! If a flame uh, while Indela found a bazooka, there would be a dark vic- I mean, would there be a dark victory? Um, I, I have no idea what he's talking about. I, I think he's gone insane, and I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> I, I guess this is what happens when you use the Beta 4 editor before even the regular version DU came out. You went insane. Um, I don't even know if Valus created levels after, like, DU regular came out. 
I hope you have fun with it. I have checked the structure, and I think it's clean. If you have any problems, post them in alt.games.doom, the old forums. Good luck, Valis. So yeah, here's an old school level for you people. <laughs> March 27th, my god. As if as if everything else is old. Uh you know, now now we're talking like, you know, one of the first few levels made. <laughs> I think this like is older than most of the levels we played, honestly. Um I'm really curious what how far are we? Like LITAG2M1, the fourth level ever released, was released on the same day. Oh my god. Yeah, this is one of the first four levels ever released, people. Yeah, this is like the fifth level ever released to the world. Well then! <laughs> At least historically, and there's stuff that's supposed to be even earlier than this. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going back in time, aren't we? Fifth level ever released historically somehow, and now we're suddenly playing it nearly 200 levels into the series. Even though it's just kind of an older version of what we already played. Owie! Owie! I hate this! I hate that bloody start! Well, I thought there was more enemies in the final version. Yeah, this feels a lot less. There's a lot less secrets, a lot less stuff here. It seems very... Like, there can't be much in this level. It's probably not many of the secret corridors. That's probably the big difference. You know, this pro version probably doesn't have much of the secret areas like the final version did. TN! It's like none of the secrets in the final version actually exist here. There's the exit switch, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't trust it. Do I trust it? Do I trust it? Don't even say... Oh. It didn't even show me, like, an exit switch thing on the map. But there's still an item! There's still an item! Okay. We have to, like, spam every wall, don't we? Oh, God! Why do I get the feeling like it's in the middle area again? I found an amp! What's this do? Nothing. Ooh, I see the bazooka! I must have the bazooka! How does one get to the bazooka? I want it. They're, they're taunting me. There's a bazooka right up there. I see it. I want it. It's special to me. It it's, it's personally belongs to me. Let's start spamming walls and see what happens. See? What did I say? Secret! You walk into this and you teleport right up here. And now we get the bazooka. Because this is a bazooka, everyone. This is exactly what a bazooka consists of. I hope you know this is a bazooka. Very good to know this stuff. I did not know that. Huh. Now the question is, where's the item? It, oh, where, oh, where is that stupid item at? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? There's an item in this map, but I don't know where it is. I hit the button by accident. Come on, there's, there's gotta be an item somewhere. Wait, what the? This is weird. Why is it like that? What is that? There's like a weird thing in the middle. It makes me sus suspicious of us. See this? Like, there's a square. Why is there a square around this? Why do I feel like... I spin the right wall! I think it's revealed! I revealed it! Die! Ta-da! Now I can punch the barrel. Boom! Doom. Doom. Boom! Done! So, yeah! <laughs> that, in a nutshell, is TN Cross. Yeah, it's a lot like TN Cross 2, except for the fact that Mera, that's lacking all the side corridors. Of course, that's kind of a good thing, because... TN Cross 2 had a bunch of broken secrets! <laughs> that that was kind of part of the problem with TN Cross 2. And now you're telling me that TN Cross 1 didn't have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, T TN Cross 1 was better than TN Cross 2 because it got rid of the annoying areas. Instead, focused on that one room area. 
I mean, now, now it just kind of feels pointless, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it's still the damaging fours and the randomness, but, um... Yeah, at least the secrets aren't broken. Th that's a start. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Anyway, thank you very much all for watching. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.